Hello guys, so most of the time people try to work in a way they learned and uh, they will not try to improve it, to change their workflow, to make it uh, different, to try to find a different way to make different assets because there is no one way to make an asset, there is a lot of possibilities and uh, with Blender and modifiers uh, there is a lot of possibilities so it's for me really interesting to try to find a different way uh, to make assets uh, for non-destructive workflow even something as simple as a, a cylinder for example you will create a cylinder you will uh, setting it uh, in the uh, in here and you will change uh, vertice etc etc but after that uh, you cannot edit it so directly uh, you are locked uh, on your uh, on this object and you cannot add or remove uh, uh, etc etc edges for example if i want to add uh, here some edges to add uh, subdivisions i will select this is a little uh, a little tip cre uh, crease i will add a subsurf in uh, one or two depend of what you want to do here as you can see one two and uh, you apply it and that's it after you will just have to clean or uh, i will undo Control x in face mode Control x Control X and that's it. I have uh, a cylinder with more uh, subdivisions, more segments, and uh, it's okay, but uh, it's a long process. Uh, if I want to remove uh, all of this, I will select this, I will press uh, A, I will select uh, checker select, and I will press Control X and that's it. So uh, this is interesting, but uh, this is not fast. This is not uh, non-destructive. Uh, you need to edit your model, and as you can see, the model is like that. And uh, what you can do is, for example, for the cylinder, you can directly uh, add another cylinder like that, like this one. But the difference on this one is that uh, this is a screw, as you can see. And I can edit everything. So this is pretty interesting. And uh, if I want to make uh, a long cylinder, I will remove this one. I will create my long cylinder. I will make my rotation in Y. I will apply the transforms. I can, for example, add an auto mirror. I will select this. I will move it here. Okay, so um, I need something like that a lot of time in my work and uh, when I'm here, uh, for example, if I need more subdivisions, I will have to do the same uh, the same workflow as previously, add some crease, add a subsurf uh, like that and apply it and that's it. Okay, uh, if I'm okay with it, uh, I will after add, have to... Uh, for example, add some subdivisions like that by hand, etc., etc. So this is uh, this is interesting, but uh, that you have to make too many uh, too many uh, actions to uh, to do the same, uh, and you could make something totally different and uh, full de non-destructive. For example, I will call uh, this one. This is just that uh, I will just make a rotation in Y again. Like that, I will just move uh, to my vertices. I will go in back. Ah, it's in there. It's, it's here. So I I can directly move this like that, and I want to move it like that. And to snap this, I will activate the increment. Uh, that should work like that. And now I need to activate this. Hop là. It's not working. Hop. As you can see, this is not really. Uh, so I will try with this in uh, X. Let's try. Okay. Uh -huh. So now I will change uh, Y, Z, X. Okay. So now I have my object. I can add a mirror like that. I can also add an array if I want. Like that. And I can do something like that. Okay, I can move this to one, zero, here. I can, uh, in the interesting part is that I can select this and this, change, I will have to move this, change the, the, uh, the diameter, like that. And I can also uh, change the number of segments. Uh, no, not you. Up. The number of segments, like that. So this is pretty interesting. Um, I need to move, for example, the mirror uh, here. 
And now, if I add my array, I will just do this, like that. I can also, for example, move this, edit, hop là, this one, move it like that, and I will have this result. Move it like that, I will have this result. Select the screw, select the number of segments I want, 12, and that's it. Uh, I need to remove this subsurface to show you the proper... Uh, proper uh, And that's it. And my object is just that. Okay. So this is pretty interesting. I can f edit everything like that. I can edit the number of segments like that. And I can edit the array. Uh, no, it wasn't this one. No. Yep. Uh, okay. This one like that. So you have full control of your object. Oh, nice. <laughs> yep. You have full control of your object. You can edit it as you want. You can edit the uh, diameter. You can edit the number of segments. You can edit uh, the uh, wire to have exactly what you want. If I want only eight subdivisions, that's it. I have eight subdivisions. So as you can see, this is um, pretty interesting, and you can do whatever you want. So I will remove the mirror. I will make a rotation on this one in Y, like that. I will keep it like that for now. Uh, I can add a subsurf if I want. There is also something interesting. Uh, I can add a cylinder uh, vertice. I can call this screw. I can play with the screw offset and the iteration. So as you can see, no need to add um, an add-on to do this. There is some add-ons to do this, but uh, this is pretty interesting. And if I go in object mode, for example, uh, I cannot in, in vertex mode, but uh, you can see the number of segments here. So I have 12 segments. If I, I can change the number of segments uh, really easily, So this is pretty interesting. So for example, I want uh, eight to have exactly the same as the, uh, the cylinder, as we can see. That can be inter really interesting. On this one, I can uh, maybe try duplicate it, call the tubify like that, play with the number of segments, play with this. And if I'm okay, I can remove the other uh, object. And on this one, I can add a subsurf like that. So as you can see, I made something uh, really fast, uh, full editable. On this one, I will remove the auto smooth. Full editable, and uh, I can keep a previous version. For example, this one to edit if I want. For example, I can remove this one. I can uh, play with this. Can move this like that. I can change the number of iteration. And that's it. If I'm okay with this one, uh, always try to duplicate and hide like that. Uh, you will always keep the uh, previous version. And I will add a tubify. I will add the number of segments I want. I will remove your plan, not you, this one, to have exactly some span. We can have more or less uh, subdivisions. So it's up to you to do whatever you want. And the interesting part is also that if you are not okay with this, you can, since it's a screw, you can move this one here, like that, and I will duplicate, I will add a tubify, and I can do something like that. Okay, there is also uh, another possibility, uh, I will move this one, you can add if you want a skin on this one, but as you can see the result of the skin is not... Uh, I will move this one. It's not really clean. Uh, -da. No, I cannot do anything on this one. Uh, but just to test, just have to select the point, Control A, to be sure you have whatever you want. And that's it. And if you are okay with your object, uh, you need to move it, etc. Et uh, once you are okay, you can remove this one, duplicate it, hide it, and call it to be fine. And you will be sure to have exactly what you want, like that. And in fact, on this one, I applied with the uh, 
this subsurf, but uh, you understand what I wanted to say. So as you can see, there is a lot of possibilities to make uh, different uh, assets. You can uh, this cylinder part is really interesting because uh, it's uh, fully editable for the uh, all the parts like that for the dimension like that etc and you can also uh, play with uh, this uh, this screw uh, i will not do this Oop. this screw like that i will just uh, snap on the vertice and like that make uh, add whatever you want you can also add some uh, some bevel in fact i can add bevel here directly Hop. i just have to move the bevel under uh, the uh, the subsurf and I need to uh, oopla. Ah, 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 ah. Uh, the subsurf uh, doesn't help me so bevel scale play with the angle like that and that's it now I can add a subsurf so as you can see this is pretty interesting Hop. can change the diameter the number of segments to have exactly what I want. Up. And I can also add a subdivision here, move this like that, etc. etc. You can do whatever you want. I just have now to add some other array like that. And that's it. So a lot of possibilities. Uh, trying to keep every, everything editable is pretty interesting. You can edit it. You can do whatever you want. Always try to keep a version of uh, your uh, first model to be sure to have uh, to be able to come back once you apply uh, your modifiers, etc. And that's it. This is pretty interesting. And this uh, ellipse was posted on uh, our Discord by Jemian, and the ID is really nice because before I used uh, uh, some uh, custom primitives to add some ellipse, but uh, with the uh, the, the uh, vertex plus uh, the uh, the screw, in fact, uh, this is really 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 nice. Hop. I can do uh, something like that uh, really easily. And edit, 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 etc., etc. This is pretty, 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 pretty nice. Hop. I can change the step. I can just edit this. Hop. If I'm okay, to be fine. Like that. And that's it. Really fast. Hop. Pretty fast. <laughs> okay, I will stop here. Hope you like this kind of video. Don't hesitate to uh, to ask me for more, or don't hesitate to uh, show me how you can do uh, such a set or different asset in a non-destructive way. Because it's really nice for everyone to know how to do uh, to make something different from uh, how they always do this. Find it. So this is for me pretty interesting. Okay, see you. Bye bye.